Welcome to another video on better picks for Google Maps. I'm your host, Morten Copenhagen. In this video, I will show you how to make your pictures more attractive so they will stand out better between all the other photos on Google Maps. I have prepared 15 images for this video, from super easy and quick to more complicated adjustments at the end of this video. Let's, uh, let me show you the images that we will be working on today. These 15 images are what we will try to make more beautiful. The first one is this image. So every time you start adjusting an image, you have to ask yourself three very simple questions. One is, is the light okay? Second, is the contrast okay? And third, are the colors as you would like them, or do they need to be more saturated? So it's light, contrast, and color. So what do you see in this, in this picture? Is this picture as it should be, or can we improve this? My, my conclusion would be that it might be a little bit too dark on the outside, especially if you look to the left in the image. It's like outside is very dark. So when you want to adjust you, in Google Photos, you go into this little thing down here that's called the Edit icon. And then this view opens up. At the top, you have the image. And down here, you have different um, presets that you can choose between. And one trick, if you don't know what else to do, you can always try the automatic called Auto here at the bottom and see if that improves your image. This one is the uh, Auto. So if you keep your eyes up here, I'll click on Auto and let's see what happens. Now, woo! And if you want, you can, you can touch the image and then it goes back to the original. And after, before, after, and I think I like this one. I think Auto did an awesome job. So I will go up here and hit save to, to continue to the next image. So um, this is a church you might remember from some of the other exercises. It's from behind. Um, so when you look at this image, do you think light, contrast, or color saturation is the issue here? Think about it. Hmm. Well, my thought would be that the church itself is rather dark. And the colors could maybe be a little more, a little more vibrant. So let's again go into edit mode. And down here we have the different presets. Again, let me see if we can improve it with the auto. Always try that first. Aha! Look, before, for, before, after, it gets better, but I think we can do even better. I'm a little concerned about up here. It looks a bit hazy. So let's see what else we have. How about Palma? Ooh, this is, um, I think this is over the hill. I want to tone it down. Let's see if we have a better one. Down here we might have Bazaar. Ooh, look at the sky, how blue it got. And the building is looking better. Not perfect. Anything else? How about blush? Yeah. I think this is, this is how I remember the church in real life. So I'll go for this one. I click save. And then we can continue on to the next one. Ah, this is a skater park. And let's start the um, adjustment by just clicking auto. Yes, it got a little lighter, but I do like I do like the um, the texture, the brickwork around here. So maybe we can we can improve it a little bit more. So down here, here's another. Um, we can pull up some more dials here. Look at this, and now we have light, color, and pop. Pop is a kind of contrast. We have other means for contrast. I'll show you later. But now we will just pull up the pop here. Look at the image. I'll pull it all the way up. This is, in my view, too much. So let's pull it down a little bit again. Maybe here. I like this. Yep. So I'll hit save. 
and we can move on to the fourth image. Ah, you might recognize this retirement home also. Um, so again, light, contrast, colors. I think colors are fine, but the light, I think it's too dark. So let's go in here and hit auto. Look at the image at the top. Whoa, it came out nicely. Hmm, maybe we can do a tiny bit more light. Let me go in here and pull the light up a little bit more. Yes, I think I like that better. A little more pop also, contrast. See, all the way, clearly too much. Pull it down. You can see the structure in the um, facade it changes with this. So I'll pull it down to around here, maybe a little, still a little bit too much, like there, and save. And on to the next one. Okay, light, oh, clearly too dark. But again, the uh, from the inside, there's plenty of light. So this might be a little more difficult. Uh, let's go into uh, edit mode. And the first thing I want to do here is crop this image. I'll pull up the bottom line. I'll pull out down the top line to maybe here. Yes, is it centered nicely? Oh, go back. Here it is. Done. And we can zoom in a little bit just for a better view and go see what Otto does. Ho ho ho! That's serious business. Ah, uh, I think I want to go back and pull this bottom one down because I like the reflections in the in the walkway here. Done. And we can click save. And yes, it's saved. Move on to the next one. Okay. How do you see the light? How do you see the contrast? And how about the colors? Think about it. Say it out loud if you if you dare. Hmm. Okay. Ah, this is actually kind of a trick question because I think the colors are brilliant. I think the light is amazing and the contrast is perfect. So I actually don't want to move anything or change anything here. I can show you what happens if we put the uh, auto on. Look at the image. And before, after, before, after. I like original better. So nothing to do in this image. Let's move on to, um, how do I get out of this? Save. And here, this is a very colorful image. Again, is the light okay? Contrast and colors. What do you think? Let me show you what I want to do to this one. Even though the, it has a lot of colors, I want to increase them a little bit. Um, so now, instead of using the presets, I'll go straight into this here. And let me show you, I'll just put a little more light on, like that. And then let's check the color. Can we give it a little bit more? See all the way? That'll be too much. Maybe here. Yes. And is pop necessary? Ah, ah like that. So. I think this is better. Let's save it and move on to the next one. Don't be afraid of a lot of colors. It can attract attention when the picture is in a competition with all the other nice pictures. And this is the Red Cross consignment shop. And what do you think? Light? Yes, more light would be nice. How about contrast? Maybe a little bit more. And colors? Oh, just, just fine, I think. Let's go in and give it a try. And we do auto first. Yeah, it's 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 better. Certainly not perfect. So I'll go into light. And now I want to show you, see, to the right of the light slider here, you can actually press the uh, pull down and we have another menu down here. We have more, more options here. Exposure is one of the um, sliders that I use the most. Look what happens when I turn it up powerful in getting more light in the picture. And it, it kind of makes everything lighter. See, ah, this is maybe a little bit too much, but like this, 
and you can also go down and the other thing I normally use is a very powerful thing to increase the contrast. I'll take the blacks and pull them up slightly. I'll do it all the way. See that's way too contrasty but a little bit extra. This is nice so the black is still black and let's see if more pop will benefit. Ah. Yeah, a little bit extra. How about here? Yes, this is the way you do it. And I'll hit save and we can continue to the next one. Now, this is a shop ticking on an, a cloudy day. And I know for a fact that the facade, the white stuff at the front of the building is actually very pure white and now it's almost gray. So I want to increase the lighting, definitely. Let's go in and see what we can do. So again, I think the exposure would be, oh, we, we, we can do the auto first. Let's see what that does. Yes, it actually gets a little lighter when you hit auto. So it gives you an idea about what direction you could, you could emphasize if you want to do more. We will open light again and take the exposure slider and pull it up. See, this is clearly too much. And let me see. Here on my screen, it can be different from screen to screen, but on my screen, this looks wonderful. Again, if you look at the uh, black down here at the bottom, it might have been, it's not completely black anymore. So I'll go down to the blacks and pull them up a little bit. See? back to black. And it gives a nice contrast in the image also. I think this is this is it. I'm happy with it. I'll save it and move on to the next one. Hmm, this is a lot, rather dark image. And first of all, framing rule number one, always landscape, was forgotten here. And let me and also, there's no real business or place of attraction. It looks more like a private garden or something. But let's try to adjust the image anyhow. Let's see what happens if we, um, if we go for auto. Yeah. See how the orange walkway there looks nicer. But up here, still it's very dark. So I will go in and again open to meet the exposure and pull the exposure up. Look at the darkest spot in there in the middle. See, it, it, it might even be necessary to go all the way up here to make this image nice. Let me check. Uh-oh. See what's wrong? This image is actually not perfectly in focus. So I don't think we should share this on Google Maps. So I'll abort the... Um, the adjusting here, just save it and move on to the next one. See, this is more interesting. Have a look. Would you like more light, more contrast, or would you like more color vibrancy or saturation? Hmm. Let me let me zoom in so you better can see this part. I think that the main problem here is that this side here of the image which is um, the right hand and lower side, it's actually very dark. So I want to make that have more details to it so we can see what's going on in the shadow there. So we will open and we will go to, we can, we can see what happens with auto again, always a good idea. Yeah, that's not bad, but still the dark shadowy area is too dark to my taste. So I'll go in here and and go down and find shadows. See, auto already brought it up. I'll pull it even further up and see what happens. Yeah, can you see the details uh, in the shadow came out nicer. And let me just see if we add a tiny bit of blacks also. Oh, it went back maybe here. Like that. Yeah, so this is before, this is after. I think when, when, when this memorial black stone is the object in this place, I think this is a better image. So I will go close this and hit save and move on to the next one. Aha, uh -huh. 
This is from the Red Fort in New Delhi, India. And what do you see? Do you see a problem with the light, with the contrast, or with the colors? My take would be that the biggest problem is the contrast. It might be a bad camera, or more likely because this is a foggy morning. So my first advice would be don't take pictures for Google Map on a day when when it's not very when it's not clear. Also, some sunshine would have been nice. Uh, let's go in and see if we can save this one. Let's press auto and see what happens. Yeah, it stands out slightly better. See, more contrast is added. But hmm, I'm not really happy about it. Let's see if Palma. Oh no, I I visited the the. Um, this red fort, and it's not it's not that red. Let's let's go for auto and see if we can pull it up. I would go in and do the exposure again. Nah, see, it's just more hazy. That's not the way to go. Pull up contrast. Yeah, the darker area gets darker, and the lighter lighter. That helps a little bit, but. The main problem also is that the framing rules were not uh, sticked to here. Look at how the people in the foreground, they are cut off. Only the top third of the people are visible. And I want more cropping space in the lower part of the image. And we could take away some of the, um, of the top. But honestly, no. Take your pictures on a nice day rather than this hazy morning. So let's let's move on to the next one. And the next one is <laughs> that's that's me recording one of these videos, not this one obviously, but um, can you see what's wrong? Is the lighting wrong? Is the contrast wrong? Or is the, are the colors wrong or too weak? What do you think? My take, <laughs> because I manipulated this to make it like this, the problem is there's a lack of contrast. That's the main problem here. And the second problem is the color saturation is also lower than it should be. So let's go in and see if we can fix that. We can try auto. Yeah. See, before auto, that's okay. We can, we can build on that, but it's not perfect yet. Let's go in here and see if we can increase the contrast. Yeah, nice. Oh, we can do the easy way to contrast also here. We can pop a little bit more. Yes. And then go into into the colors and we can pull the saturation slider up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not I'm not that pinkish in my face, but I'm looking at the zipper. It should be very orange because that's the color in real life. So, I think this is it. Yeah. Close this, save this, we made it. Next one. Ah, this is a challenging one. I think this picture was not really taken with Google Maps in mind. Look at the sun. I think this is a picture of the sun and we don't know what's in the front, it's very dark. So the tools we have in Google Photos, they are applied to the entire image. To fix this, we need we need some tools that can take do something up at the top and something else at the bottom. And this is not available in Google Photos, so Snapseed would be one option. You could use another app for that. But it's it's beyond what we can talk about in this otherwise long video. Let me just try to see what happens if we go for auto. Yeah, it came up a little bit more at the, in the foreground. So let's concentrate on the foreground and see what we can do. I'll pull up the exposure. See, yeah, some, it's pretty much better. And let's go for a little more contrast. And yeah, so if we don't look at the sun, it's kind of better at the bottom now. I would also do this just to rotate it slightly, just to make that foreground thing not, yeah. Or, and I would take away those spikes down there too. Yeah, and come down a little bit more here. I would I would like to have it more centered uh, vertically, but that's not possible. 
again cropping space is always important see this is this is the best i can do right now but again google photos is not having the tools needed for this job move to the next one hmm what do you see here is light contrast or color saturation an issue all the other images we have been working on until now they have been mainly too dark this one is kind of too light so i want to turn down the exposure a little bit and i think there are more, many more things we can do let's go in here and find the exposure and pull it down a little bit yes and let's pull up the contrast definitely yeah and if you go down here maybe nah, no no extra blacks but I'll go into colors and we can pull up the saturation slightly yeah about here see the haziness is almost gone at the top now looks better I want to show you what deep blue does I turn down deep blue nothing much is happening but turning it up look at this look at how the water or the sky in this case the green plastic chairs they pop more see I think I think this is this is the best I can do so we will save this one this concludes this uh, video I have prepared some of uh, these files so you can go and download the 15 photos in case you want to practice your new adjustment skills on the very same photos the link is the in the description in the description, you can also find a link to Better Picks for Google Maps, a tutorial for Google Local Guides. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.